Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to episode 2 of Battle Spot Blast, our series where we jump on a battle spot and attempt to just have a blast as we battle through the random people that we can encounter on Battle Spot and have a lot of fun uh, doing so. So, as you guys may have seen in the first episode, uh, we're going to be using our in-game team. However, I did make a few modifications uh, and the reason we're doing that is because I don't actually have a proper team bred, re bred yet. I'm very close, but I just haven't got the items and a couple of EVs and a couple of moves need to be sorted out first as well. Um, but once that's done, and by next episode, which will be airing on Friday, so if you guys don't know, Battle Spot Blast will go, will be airing on Mondays and Fridays from here on out, and then Wednesdays in the middle of the week is actually going to be Wi-Fi battle, so it's going to be 6v6s against, uh, either friends or you guys or other YouTubers, so it'll be a fun time. Either way, uh, for this specific episode, we're going to be doing free battles because, of course, we don't want to go into raiding battles and battle people who are actually there trying to... You know, destroy my soul with their perfectly bred uh, Pokemon and stuff like that. So like I said, we'll hop into free battles and I'll explain my team once we get to that point. They're going to check my SD card. Hopefully they, they like what they see. We're going to jump into single battles. And because we no longer have Lunala in our team, I'm actually going to go special Pokemon banned to see how how different it's going to be. And then here you, guys, here you go. You guys can see our team. Uh, we got Decidueye, Rubombi, Lycanroc, uh, Komodo, Salazzle, and Alolan Golem which was a member of our team in Pokemon Moon prior to us getting Lunala. So I figured we might as well bring Alolan Golem, give him a chance to shine, especially since he's one level over 50. He's ready for Battle Spot. Either way, that'll be A-OK. -okay. We'll use that party. And then let me just explain our items. So Decidueye has the Decidium Z, which of course allows him to use his Z move. Then we have Revombi with the Expert Belt, so we can hit a little bit harder when we hit super effectively. Lycanroc has the Dark Type Z Crystal, so our Crunch can do a lot more damage. Uh, Komodo has the Dragon Type Z Crystal, Look at this man's passport photo. He's like way in the corner. Either way, we're going against Matthew from Connecticut, I believe it said. Um, anyway, back to my Pokemon's items. We'll look at his team in a second. Uh, Salazzle is rocking the Charcoal uh, to increase our flamethrower damage. And Alolan Golem is... Oh, just Golem. Is rocking the Quick Claw so we can be fast as... I don't know. Priority. Either way, on our enemy team, we see a Serena. We see uh, Wishy Washy. We see... Um, the Sand Ghost type. I, I honestly have no idea what his name is. Sandy Gas or something like that. We see Minio and we see Primarina. <clears throat> Pretty scary. We see some common weaknesses. We see two Water type weaknesses. Sorry. We see two Grass type weaknesses. We see two Electro type weaknesses. We see two um, uh, Water type weaknesses. Actually, we see more than two Grass type weaknesses. I think this, uh, Decidueye actually has a good matchup with every single Pokemon that I could go up against. So we're going to go with Decidueye as our lead. From there. I think what else can do the finest is definitely Ribombi. It will handle a Serena. And it should do a good amount of damage to the other Pokemon as well. Sadly, I don't have Energy Ball like it would have on my regular Ribombi set. But it's definitely going to be useful. And we can possibly uh, get off a Quiver Dance and do mad damage. And then from there, looking at their team, I feel like... Um, honestly, the best bet might be Golem because of the electric weaknesses. We'll go for Golem. It actually hasn't got that great moves. Um, it's only electric type move is Thunder Punch, and it's not actually uh, Galvanize, which means we uh, Galvantulize. I don't know how exactly it works. I think it's Galvanize, uh, which turns normal type moves into electric type moves. Sadly, we're not that set, but we're still hopefully going to be able to do some work here. And let's see how we go. This person also, um, important to note, only actually had five Pokemon on their team. Very, very interesting. Either way, Matthew was here, and he looks excited as all hell. We're going to do our spin throw. I love my battle style in this game. I think it's so, so, so cool. Then we have... Um, and Serena the first come out here. That, that's definitely a good play on my opponent's part. I don't actually have answers for Serena. Uh, but I think... Let me just look at my team real quickly. We don't have a single other um, Z-move on the team. So I don't see any reason not to just lead off with a Z-move. Actually, let's go for a Swords Dance. Let us go for a Swords Dance. Previously, this set actually had... Um, this set actually had... Uh, uh, Raybird, but I removed it for False Swipe to Soft Reset for some Pokemon. We got so lucky just then. Oh my goodness. I think we'll go for the... We might as well go for the Z Spirit Shackle. This person looking at their... Hold on, let me just double check their team. They had no normal types, am I correct? Uh, if I press Y, I can see their team in the bottom screen. They have no normal types, meaning this uh, uh, Z Spirit Shackle will come through uh, no matter what, unless they go for Protect. Sinister Arrow Ray, let's go. Plus two as well. Gonna be crazy. Um, either way... I believe I was talking to you guys about my moveset. Like I said, I got rid of um, Swords Dance. Sorry, I got rid of uh, Brave Bird for the Full Swipe, and then I couldn't get it back without a Heart Skull. So I was like, you know, what? let's try Swords Dance. See how well this thing goes with Swords Dance. And fun fact, I was actually soft resetting for Tapu Koko pretty much all day today. 
and it took me like beyond eight hours to get what I wanted. And even still, I didn't get perfect. So it's kind of unfortunate, but I am in no way opposed to uh, using bottle caps and grinding up to level 100 for that sort of stuff. So we unfortunately get destroyed by a focus sash and we double the dodge. I feel so sorry for you, dude. Like, I, I, I honestly have no words. It's so unlucky. That's honestly a 1% chance to miss two of those, I believe. Um, to miss one and then get the 10% and the 10% again. That's, I think that's a 1% chance to miss. And we get a crit hit on the 1 HP. That's kind of crazy. Either way, right now, the Situa is in a really good position. We're plus two. And I believe Swords Dance hits neutrally or super effectively to their entire team. So this is the neutral guy. Kind of unfortunate. I think we're going to go for the... Um, I was going to say we should go for the Spirit Track, but no, we will go for the Sword Dance because it does um, it does have a high chance to crit hit. And we probably we might add speed first turn, but we will not add speed next turn. Stone Edge comes off here, so we don't add speed, period. Stone Edge is going to do a good amount. going to do half. However, note that once I knock this thing's shields down... Oh my goodness. That wasn't even a crit. What? Decidueye, calm down. Oh my goodness. I was expecting, you know, get a good amount of damage, and then he's going to have shields down, then we go for a sucker punch, because we can, you know, just put in the finest from there. Either way, Primarina is here, and I think Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade takes the cake. If things shouldn't outspeed us, it might, and if it does, if it does not outspeed us, there's no way you're leaving a plus two Leaf Blade. Oh my goodness, maybe I should consider running um, Swords Dance on my other Decidueye that I've already bred up. I could do, I could do it. Um, I could get rid of U-Turn on the set for Swords Dance, and that'd be pretty cool. I might consider that set. That's really, really fun. Either way, we do get the win. The sweep with Decidueye. I'm really happy with that. Really, really good match. A really, really fun match. I'm having a blast so far. I definitely think that my, op my opponent got really, really unlucky. Um, and honestly, that battle could have gone a completely different direction. Um, had we not dodged two play roughs, which is crazy. Either way, we'll save this battle video because it's good for the thumbnails, and I'll catch up with you guys once we find our next opponent. Alright guys, so we found our next opponent, and he is from Japan. I can't say his name because I can't read the... the, the... Is that an is that is that angry face at the end of his name? That's pretty cool. Either way, forget about that. Let's look at the team. We see Gigalith, Marowak, Garchomp, uh, Hydreigon, Prime Arena, and Metagross. Now, this team has three pseudos. That's horrifying. Either way, I think we have to bring the Rebombi. We have to bring it. Um, seeing that we have a Rebombi, I'm probably going to guess they're going to bring Metagross as well, which means it might be a good idea to bring our Salazzle. So thinking Rebombi, Salazzle, that's a pretty decent lead there. Now, next up, Decidueye does have an advantage against both Marowak and... Uh, Prime Arena, as well as Giglet. So maybe Decidueye is a good lead here. I think what we might go for is we might go for a Rebombi lead. Uh, we'll bring Salazzle in the back and we'll bring Decidueye in the back as well. And I guess we'll see how we do. I'm definitely afraid of those Dragon types. I'm hoping that we see a High Dragon League, which would be crazy. A High, a high Dragon League would be kind of ridiculous. Um, but I mean, you never know. You never know. So we'll see what happens here. We see our opponent with his cool guy stance. I believe it's the, um, I have no idea. Either way, we're going to do our spin. We're going to throw out our Rebombi, and I'm ready to go. I love how tiny Rebombi is. It's absolutely crazy. Gigalith shows up here. That's kind of scary. We might even see a Stealth Rocks come through, which is, Gigalith gets Sand Stream? Oh my, I, I had no idea. And again, sadly, I think I mentioned it, our normal set for this Pokemon would actually be running, um, would actually be running a, a grass type move. I, was, I want to run Energy Ball on this Pokemon instead of Stun Spore. Uh, so we're in a pretty bad way here. I guess I can switch a Pokemon in, but I think I want to stay in and break the Sturdy. So we'll go for the Pollen Puff. Should be should do more damage. Am I correct? I am correct. We'll go for the Pollen Puff, and we'll break the Sturdy. Because oh wait, no. What am I talking about? This thing definitely doesn't have Sturdy. It just used Sand Stream. I'm I'm, I'm dumb. But we're gonna lose Pokemon here. We pop the Air Balloon, which is good, important information. And we see a Rock Tomb here. This shouldn't KO us. It gets very, very close, but we get taken out by the Sandstorm. Really unfortunate, but I believe that just means we're going to go into the Decidueye. And um, hope that we can kill this thing. It's actually going to, we're going to do very little damage because this thing is very, very, very defensive. And to take a Pollen Puff like that, kind of crazy. This thing could also be Assault Vested. 
uh, which is obviously a thing. We'll go for the Leap Blade. It is four times effective, and hopefully we can get the crit. That might actually help us get the KO here. We don't get the crit, but it definitely is a two-hit two hit KO from this range. The Rock Tune comes off. This actually might slow us down to Giglet's level of speed, which is quite unfortunate. We get buffeted by the hand, the hand Storm. The Hand Storm. Okay. I was going to say Hail, but then I was like, no, it's Sandstorm. We we'll go for another Leap Blade. This should KO. Hopefully, we do still add speed. It'll be a tough ask. We do still add speed. Giglet is a very, very slow Pokemon. And we take out one Pokemon. Sadly, 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 we had to lose Pollen Puff in the process. Not Pollen Puff. That's not your nickname. That's your move. We had to lose um, Buzzard in the process, which is, of course, our Rubombi. What can we see coming out next? I don't think this battle can really go in our favor now. Um, Prime Arena is here, which is... Probably going to be carrying a, um, a, what do you, wait, hold on, is this even going to do a lot more damage? I don't think it will. 180, it's going to do the same amount of damage as Leap Blade. We're going to go for it just in case we can and pull it off. This thing probably will like speed up and go for the Ice Beam though, so there's no real, me Moon Blast. We could live this, actually. We don't live it, sadly, we did not live the Moon Blast. Um, honestly, that, given that we saw Moon Blast, Salazzo was a good switch in. Uh, which is my mistake, but Salazzle will come out here, and honestly, we only we, our only option is to go for the um, go for the disconnection. That is unfortunate. Uh, so either way, guys, we disconnect, but we were going to lose there anyway. So I think I'll leave that match in. Uh, what basically would happen is I would have gone for the Venom Shock, and that would have put me in the worst place in the world. I would have done maybe half if that, and then I got KO'd. Alternatively, I could have gone for um, for Toxic. But I still think I would have gotten KO'd, and then I would have been beaten by third Pokemon, even if I did manage to beat uh, Prime Arena. Either way, guys, uh, I'll hop back onto Battle Spot, and I'll uh, jump back in and meet you guys at the next battle. Alright, guys, so we found our next opponent named Kai Tech from the United States. And what on their team we see is Salazzle, Skarmory, Aegislash, Prime Arena, Galissapod, a Pokemon that I really, really love and can't wait to use, and a Metagross. Now... Let's see some common weaknesses. We definitely see three Steel-type Pokemon, so Salazzle is a definitely good idea. Um, Salazzle even also handles the Glissopod, kind of. Not exactly, but it should do a good amount still. I think a Salazzle lead might be worthwhile here. We may need it in the back, though, so I think what we could do is actually lead off with, not Kamo. We can't bring Kamo. They have Ghost types. They have too many Steel types. It's not a good time. And all those Steel types are neutral, if not resist, if not immune to fighting, so... A really bad way we are in here. And again, all those Steel types really handle the rest of the team with Lycan, Rock, and Golem. I can see where they took a very quick time to uh, pick their Pokemon. Um, we're going to need to bring Disidui for the Prime Arena. Uh, definitely. I think what we're going to do is we're going to lead to Lazzle. We'll bring... Rebombi can use Stun Sword to slow things down, which is definitely a, a good time. But other than that, it really doesn't handle anything. I think we're going to bring the Lycan, Rock. Uh, because it's, it's just all faithful. And again... For this match, we're going to bring uh, the entire left side, and hopefully, uh, this left side can do well for us. I, lo I love my stance as I enter the battle. It's just too funny. I believe to get my stance, I had to actually complete Master Rank in the Battle Royale, and you guys have no idea how much how much uh, struggle goes into that, because it's so it's so crazy with Battle Royale. Like You can go in there and have you, your opponents never attack you, and then you just pick up all the kills and win. And other times, you can have your opponents, um, what do you call it? Uh, all attack when you die instantly. Other way, we have Salazzle v Salazzle right here, which is pretty ridiculous. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for the Toxic. Because this thing actually might even switch out. It, they went for the Toxic as well. We find out that they do add speed us, which is really unfortunate. Um, either way, you can see great minds think alike. I guess seeing another Salazzle on the other side of the field makes you be like, Oh, yo, imagine if I poisoned the guy who can poison poison types. That's Or the girl, should I say. That's kind of crazy. So Salazzle, we, we both trade Toxics. And from here, I believe my Flamethrower is going to do more damage to them, but I think we'll just switch out instead. Um, I honestly have no idea what move they want to go for, so that's kind of scary. But what we'll do is we'll switch into uh, into Lycanroc here, and that should be a good time. Now, depending on what they do to us, if they manage to get us below half HP, we're definitely in a bad way, but hopefully we can tank a hit. And they might even double switch themselves, or switch out themselves. I can't see them. If they go for the Flamethrower, we'll be in a pretty good way because it will not do too much damage. Leech Life is here. Interesting move. I never even considered putting that on a, uh, on a Salazzle. Now, they might want to switch out. They might be like, oh, this is a Rock-type. I should switch out into one of my Steel-types. 
which me which makes me want to just go Z power black hole eclipse. So I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna expect a steel as a steelix. They go for the toxic. That's unfortunate for us. Definitely unfortunate for us. Um, but I was kind of expecting a Metagross or an Aegislash to come in because if that happened, the uh, Dark type Z move would have done so much damage uh, and, and a potential KO on the Metagross, which would have been really, really crazy. Regardless, uh, Slazzle is a pretty frail Pokemon, so this should still do a really good amount of damage. Uh, it would have been definitely better if we went for the Rock Slide, we would have KO'd, guaranteed. Uh, we took the risk because it would have been a really cool play. And right now, we're not unranked here. We can, we can be pretty casual about it and make the wrong play every now and again. Uh, what's this going to do? Could it potentially get the KO? It gets very, very close. And we see, is that left Black Sludge? Interesting set, but our, our Toxic might actually take this thing out. It got so close. Okay, now, because I know this Pokemon is going to die this next turn, I'm going to switch um, switch Lycanroc out back into our own Salazzle here. Uh, last time they went for the Leech Life, which is pretty interesting, but we quad resist, uh, we, we individually resist Leech Life on uh, on this Salazzle here. So their Salazzle is going to go down. This Leech Life, Leech Life shouldn't do too much. It definitely won't give them enough HP to uh, to live the next Toxic. And we're going to have a Salazzle sitting on the field ready to take out whatever comes out. It's really, really, really unfortunate that we didn't actually end up, um, uh, what? We didn't end up getting the toxic damage to take this thing out. I'm pretty gutted about that, but it's fine. We only, we got a free switch into Salazzle, only lost a tiny bit of HP. So we're in a pretty good way right now. I'm actually happy with the way this battle is going so far. Uh, hopefully things stay all connected because actually between this episode, this episode, between this battle and the last disconnection, I actually had another disconnection, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, but that was in like turn three. So I figured that it wasn't really worth um, uploading it or, you know, leaving that little part in. Either way, our opponent is taking the time to think. They're going to send out the Metagross here. They could be banking on a Bullet Punch to take us out. We're just going to go for the Flamethrower. It is super effective. There's no reason not to whatsoever. And hopefully we can take this thing out. If they if they don't go for the Bullet Punch, they definitely should not speed us. They don't outspeed us and they don't go for Bullet Punch. They might be going for Earthquake, uh, which is another good set here. But the, the Charcoal... Flamethrower, it does do the trick and takes out the Metagross. I'm pretty lucky. A Bullet Punch wouldn't have KO'd, because it is resisted, but it would have done a lot of damage. Um, and now our opponent has only one option, to send out their final Pokemon. What could it be? What on earth could it be? It is Aegislash now. I can see why they didn't send this thing out, because they do not want us to um, hit him with the Flamethrower. I think what we should do, we should go for the Toxic, because they might King Shield this turn. So we'll go for the Toxic and see what happens. They don't King Shield, but the Toxic is good because we can actually poison the Steel type, and it's going to be really, really good news for us because we can actually kind of just kind of play it slow and stall it out. It's going to go for the Stance Change, and what move is it going to go for? Probably just a Night Slash. This is definitely going to kill. It's really unfortunate. I it didn't kill. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Now. I know for a fact that my opponent has no option but to go for King Shield. They can make the hard read and predict me to switch out, uh, but that'd be absolutely insane. We're going to go into Decidueye, and we're going to switch. We have used our Z-Power, which is really unfortunate because a Shadow, uh, a sorry, a Sinister Arrow Raid would have done a lot of damage uh, to this thing, uh, but we should be fine just to switch out. This thing has to go for the Disconnection. Uh, honestly, guys, it's really unfortunate that my, my internet is just not... Not okay with Pokemon these days. I really, really hate that. Um, I'll, I'll look for another battle, and hopefully it doesn't disconnect, because that was really unfortunate. I actually really wanted to see how this battle would play out, because he would have probably would have gone for King Shield here, and we would have been able to stall him out for a little while. If he, the more he went for King Shield, the more he was, the more likely he was going to die. So it would have been a really fun set of mind games, uh, which makes me really annoyed that my instant decided to just throw throw this battle out the window. Either way, we'll get out of here and we'll try find another match. I just want to see what move they're going to go for. They go for the Night Slash. So, that's actually really unfortunate for us. Because what that means is, um, if we had gone for Flamethrower, we would have won the match. Uh, so, things could have gone either way from there. I, I, I wasn't paying attention as to whether or not that was a two-hit KO. From the Age of Slash to the Decidueye. Either way, I'll meet up with you guys when I find our next match. And hopefully, 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 um, you know, give me, give, me, give me all the good feels and hopefully the um this battle will actually play through to the end all right guys we found our next match we're going up against balo or balo i don't know how you say it and they are from mexico and i am looking at versing a alolan raichu a dragonite a parsimian very cool to see a togedemaru 
I believe that's what it's called. A Salazzle and a Beware. Now, Beware runs through us right now. We need Rebombi for that. We're definitely going to actually see a lot of use for Rebombi in Alolan Raichu, Dragonite, Persimian, and Beware. So, I think Rebombi can sit in the back. Um, as for what they might want to lead with, I, could, I mean, for me, a Dragonite is always a good lead. Uh, what can deal with those Pokemon? Definitely, uh, Lycanroc is a good bet here. Lycanroc can deal with the Salazzle and the Dragonite. Uh, and that's really good. That's really good news. It can also crunch slash Z crunch the, um, or Black Hole Eclipse, the Raichu. I think Lycanroc might be a good lead because when it, whatever happens, if they happen to go into a fighting type, like say, if they wanted to go for a fighting type or a dragon type move against me, Rebombi switches either four times resistance or immunity. So I'm gonna lead Lycanroc. I have faith in this Pokemon. It's one of my most trustworthy Pokemon. Rebombi in the back, and then for final support, I, I, I really feel like Golem can't do anything, which is really unfortunate. I definitely wanted to bring Golem and actually have it show on the field. Um, so Lazlo can handle, um, honestly, nothing on the team apart from Togo tomorrow. I think my best bet is to bring Komoto. Because Komoto tanks and they have a lot of physical attackers. Uh, so we're going to go with Komoto. We haven't even brought Komoto to a battle yet. So that's pretty that's pretty important to let uh, Komoto shine. And here we are, myself versus Balo. Let's hope that we stay connected. And actually, guys, if you know any way that I can actually fix this issue, right now I have I have um, DMZ and all that sort of port forwarding stuff uh, given to this DS. And for some reason, it still just wants to disconnect every now and again. Um, if you know any secrets as to how I can fix this issue, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And here we see shiny Toga tomorrow. Very, very cool. And Lycanroc is here. Now, we don't really have a great switch in for this thing. Uh, this is kind of what we didn't want to see. This thing is electric steel type, if, in case you guys didn't know. Um, I think what we're best, our best bet would probably be, because we don't have any moves for this thing. Um, and I don't know if it's physical or special. Our best bet is definitely going to be just switching to Komoto. We resist both stab, which... Should give us a good advantage here. We'll switch in and we will bring out Komodo. Hopefully, it doesn't do anything crazy. Maybe we're going to see like a nuzzle or something. I don't even know what moves this thing gets. I have no idea. We can see a fake out. So that's perfect. We wouldn't, have, we, we, we wouldn't have been able to get a move off regardless. And we got the switch into what we wanted. Now, you guys can see Sky Uppercut is super effective. The question is do we think we can see a Dragonite come out? Because if that is the case, Dragon Dance is the way to go. Um, and I don't even know if um, upper, a Sky Uppercut will one shot. So I want to go for a Dragon Dance and see what they want to do. They're probably going to switch because they do definitely do not have the advantage here unless they somehow have Play Rough or something, which I can kind of see that happening, but with the typing, I don't. So come on, like I said, we'll go for the Dragon Dance. Spiky Shield is here. And that is phenomenal for us. I had no way that this thing got a Spiky Shield, but Dragon Dance was definitely the right play. Now, they can choose to go for Spiky Shield again and get and like hope for the 50% uh, that they'll actually land it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go for the uh, Sky Uppercut. And hopefully, this definitely should KO. It's plus one. I can't see any reason it wouldn't. They go for Spike Shield again. They actually get it off. They're very, very lucky. Really unfortunate for me. We're going to take a little bit of damage from the Spiky Shield. Um, and that kind of sucks that a play, going for a play like that actually pays off for them. Um, but at least it's not like King Shield where we lose our attack boost. We'll go for Sky Uppercut again. There's no way they're going to land the third um, Spiky Shield in a row. That's just ridiculous. Uh, please don't tell me that's what's going to happen here. That's the last thing I want to see. If that happens, we won't be having a blast. And that's the whole point of the series, to have a blast. So far, we are having a blast outside of the disconnections. Every single battle has been so really fun so far. Komodo is here, and he's looking, for, he's looking to have some fun. Our opponent is sitting here thinking, what can I do now? What can I do now? They, the spiky shield, the second spiky shield was really good because they were able to scout what move I would go for. And again, we have an error... I, I can't do it, guys. I can't keep going and keep getting into battles and having this fear that I'm going to disconnect. Really, really, really sucks. I should look at these error codes and actually look them up and see how I can solve it. Um, as much as I want, I don't want to end off on a disconnection, I think we're going to have to end it off here. I, I can't keep going for the next three hours of my life hoping and praying that we don't have another disconnection. So it's really, really unfortunate, guys, but we're going to have to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did... Make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of strategy for me to fix this lagging issue or disconnection issue because right now that is five disconnections in a row outside of one battle that didn't disconnect. And that was a, that was a one Pokemon sweep. It was very fast. There was no time to disconnect. So it's really, really unfortunate things went this way. 
Either way, like I said, if you enjoyed the battles, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more of the series, hopefully when the uh, disconnection issues are solved, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. And finally, I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.